So, uh, hello everyone, my name is Rémi Ranier and um, I'm, uh, I am replacing uh, my two colleagues, uh, Guillaume Avin and uh, Virginie Barbosa, uh, that uh, can't be here today. So I'm working at the LNE. It's a French uh, laboratory uh, for testing and uh, metrology. And uh, I am one of uh, the organizers of, the, uh, of this challenge, the Walsh Challenge. So uh, basically, I will present uh, this competition, with this uh, French competition uh, to you. Uh, in particular, the performance evaluation of uh, autonomous wedding robots uh, for the artificial vision part. <laughs> So, uh, basically, what, uh, what is the uh, Rose Challenge? So, the main goal of this competition is to encourage uh, development of autonomous, uh, development of autonomous uh, innovative solution for intra uh, weed control in field crops and, uh, and, uh, and vegetable crops. So, um, this is part of the French government's uh, ECOFI 2 uh, program. Uh, this program is for the diminution of the LBC, the phytosanitary products uh, used in uh, the fields. So uh, this uh, competition found four consortia. The, each consortia developed a solution, and uh, it's a competition between these uh, four, uh, four solutions. So the beep beep solution is um, a, f a tool with a finger uh, which uh, sweep the, the totality of the intro uh, and without the detection of the weeds, but only with the detection of the crops. The PIT solution is um, another um, mechanical solution with uh, detection with uh, um, hyperspectral uh, camera. The ROSO solution is a uh, Chris Finger Reader. And uh, the Weed Elec is a solution uh, which uses uh, electrical uh, impulsion to kill the weeds. So the, this, uh, the, this challenge found an operational uh, organizer. So it's uh, basically the Eleni and uh, Istea. Uh, this consortium uh, leads the definition of the competition. Um, also organize the challenge, prepare the fields, uh, evaluate the four consortium and uh, ensure the fair treatment of all the participants. And uh, the funding body are three French uh, ministries, uh, ecology, uh, agriculture, and uh, the French uh, ministry for research. Uh, through the two national agencies, the uh, National Research Agency and uh, the um, Agency for the Biodiversity. So, uh, this project started uh, in uh, 2018 and will end in December uh, 2021. So, uh, it began with an initial dry run uh, phases that uh, refined the evaluation protocol and uh, will be followed by three phases of uh, evaluation. So, basically, uh, we are in the process of finalizing the first phase of evaluation, and um, which was punctuated uh, by uh, evaluation on the field in uh, October. Uh, from the organizational point of view, uh, this challenge represents four evaluation campaigns with a dry run, uh, six meetings in the experimental field, and uh, an area of four hectares dedicated to the experiments. So uh, the experiments uh, take place on the Istia Montauld uh, site uh, on a surface area of uh, four hectares, uh, which uh, 
in this uh, in this uh, field, there are a lot of sensors, uh, weather stations, soil moisture sensors, temperature sensors for the soil, on a GPS ATK uh, station, for example. Uh, and uh, uh, we have let three tasks on uh, this challenge. The, de the detection uh, part, so the detection part which aims to evaluate the vision systems and uh, its artificial intelligence for the detection is the classification of the, uh, of the plants with uh, two categories, crops or uh, weeds. Uh, the decision it's basically, uh, uh, it's basically the solution uh, makes the weeding of the fields. And the action, we evaluate only the tool. So uh, basically, uh, the weeds are, uh, are local, uh, the localization of the weeds I know by the consortium, and uh, you evaluate only the, the destruction of the weeds. Uh, so uh, I will uh, speak only of the, fir uh, of the first uh, evaluation, so the detection, for the rest of the presentation. So uh, for in uh, your experiments, I focuses on uh, two uh, crop. So uh, one large uh, large crop uh, with uh, white spacings. Here is uh, the maize here. Uh, one uh, vegetable crops, uh, the beans, and uh, we have tried to control the development of the weeds as um, much as possible by try uh, trying to eliminate natural weeds before the implementation, uh, before the seeding of the of the crops, and uh, we have implemented we implemented four types of weeds. Uh, two model weeds is a mustard as a regular, and uh, two natural weeds, uh, matricaria and uh, goosefoot. So, uh, the four vision solutions uh, were therefore uh, passed during the evaluation on the same plot. And uh, the same, uh, a very, uh, same image on uh, their passage during the field meeting. Uh, there are some images uh, of the field, uh, of their passage uh, during uh, the meeting. The particularity is here uh, that the system offers different approaches, different types of camera between uh, RGB for. Uh, uh, for some uh, consortia and uh, hyperspectral or multispectral for uh, other. Uh, different acquisition angle, for example, PID uh, not, uh, are very different uh, uh, angles uh, acquisition. Or different algorithm, or uh, the use of artificial light for, uh, for the big, big consortium. So you can see uh, four images for, the, for each uh, solution. And we can see a very different uh, aspect of, the, of this uh, solution of, uh, for the acquisition. So we have decided to evaluate uh, on the basis of image, images from each solution in view of these uh, differences. Uh, these images uh, are being acquired on the same parcel simultaneously. Uh, we use a traditional approach to evaluate uh, this task. Uh, from the database, uh, we will compare human annotation, the references here, uh, made by the organizational uh, consortium, so basically me and uh, compare uh, with uh, the output of the consortia solution. Here is the hypothesis. And uh, perform an error analysis of the uh, after. So uh, to do this, uh, I have said earlier, um, we, uh, the, the, the robotic solution across the database on the field. So, uh, you, you can see uh, the acquisition uh, in the field. 
Um, and uh, we compare with hypothesis. So uh, we compare for all image, each detection of plants of interest and uh, width. After a small step of uh, mapping uh, between uh, each plant of the hypothesis and uh, references, uh, we uh, calculate the error rate for each consortium. So basically, uh, use the estimate global error rate uh, metric for uh, which allow to take into account confusion between cultures uh, and width. Uh, take uh, the forgetting uh, of on the image on some plants or the detection of imaginary plants with this uh, relatively simple metrics allows to us to give an overall score for the performance of the solutions quite easily. Uh, so, uh, for the initiation phases, use a software developed at Eleni that allow an image uh, to be pre-cut and uh, if the expert needs a rise to make uh, some uh, correction, like uh, merge several cuts or split or add information such as uh, the name of each plant or uh, other information on the quality of the picture. So, uh, you can see uh, a little demonstration of uh, this uh, tool. So uh, basically for the next step of the challenge, uh, in January uh, we present the results of the first campaign. So I can't uh, give you here the results uh, for now. And um, uh, the next, uh, next year, uh, we uh, propose, uh, we make available the uh, four annotated, uh, annotated database uh, uh, for the first uh, evaluation campaign. And uh, we also uh, give you the full protocol, the full uh, protocol of uh, this experiment. Um, if you want to follow this project, you can go to the website here. And uh, there are also possibility to use the parcels for image acquisition for your solution. Uh, and you make a request from Instagram uh, Montreal for to do that. And uh, if you are interested in, uh, about this kind of competition, uh, next week uh, begin another competition, the metric. It's a European comp uh, competition uh, uh, formed by. Uh, H2020 is basically the same uh, challenge, but uh, in a European scale with a, a lot of uh, sites uh, uh, in Europe. So yeah, next year, there are a call for the participation and uh, for this kind of competition. Thank you for your attention. Do you have any questions? Thank you. Uh, do you have uh, any question for me about Rose Project? Question? Yes. The two. In the uh, each consortia, there are industrial and uh, university. Enfin, and uh, university. Yeah, yeah, but uh, some uh, industrial uh, are prefer not participate, but prefer also to. Uh, and if you are in the first uh, slide, so you can see uh, the participant here. So there are some uh, small industries uh, like uh, Sabri Agri or, or Carbon B, for example, in the pizzeria. So there are some industrial. The research I funded, so. 
Other question? Uh, the challenge days are open to public. Everybody can see the, 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 the competition. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there are some uh, some date uh, uh, open open date uh, at uh, Yester Montreal. So, and the uh, the, the results uh, are, are public. So, yeah.